Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody posted this on Facebook, and they want to cut out, basically they want the inside and the outside cut out, and I didn't read all the replies. Somebody's probably already answered them, but I thought a video is always better. So I'm going to just trace this bitmap. I'm not going to do anything to it, but just trace it, clip art. It's going to take just a second. And it doesn't trace very good, but it doesn't have to trace great. And then go up to object and group and ungroup everything. And then just start deleting all the exterior parts. And it's a little time consuming, but as long as you don't hit any of that black line, uh, it'll all delete. So let's just go with the one I've already done. And you can see that it's, the black line is in pretty bad shape. It's got all the different colors in it. But we're going to take, first of all, we want to see how big the cat is. It's almost nine inches. We're going to set a nudge factor to 10. It's all broken apart, so we can use the boundary tool, draw a boundary around it, and we've already got the outline of the cat. Now, I would do a couple of things. I'm going to put that in the center of the page because we're gonna clean this cat up and make it a little bit better because it's got some places on that aren't perfect. I'm gonna take a two point line, hold it down the control button. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And at this time you'd kind of want to look which side's better. I'm thinking this ear is a little bit better. So I'm gonna take the virtual segment delete key and I'm gonna delete this side of the cat. Now, if you have X7 or above, you can use the smoothing tool which is under your shape tool and just grab it and just quickly move along. And this all depends on how I've got mine set on 61. So it's not a real quick reaction, but you're just smoothing it out. And then this way, the cat will be symmetrical and even. Sometimes you might have to zoom in. You've got a pretty rough spot right there. Go back to the smoothing tool and all the smoothing tool is doing is taking away nodes that it does not need. Now, if you don't have X7 or above, you can always use the shape tool and delete nodes. Like I see part of the something right there we do not need. And just to start deleting nodes, and as long as it doesn't interfere with the shape of your cat, you're pretty good shape. Now we need to kind of look at this corner. There's quite a few nodes there. And you could go through and clean it up a little bit more. Just make sure you don't really change the aspect of the cat. Let's do a little bit more cleaning up because I don't like this right here. And see that changed the shape of the cat. So just go back and just take out those three. So I'm going to call that good. Then just take that shape, control D and make a duplicate get to this two point arrow and just drag it across holding down the control button. And then it's going to give you an image. So now both sides are symmetrical. We've got a little bit of a hiccup right there, but right now I'm going to call that good. I'm going to take the smart fill tool and fill that in. And then that way it sealed the two sides. I'm going to left click, right click in red. And like I said, there's a couple of ways and see, because now that is sealed, we can take our smoothing tool and kind of smooth that out. We'll look at the bottom and see what it looks like. Now there's a couple ways you could cut out the, the, the shape. And let's say you wanted a quarter of an inch thick of piece of wood for the inside and outside. Well, one way you can do it, you can go to your pen tool, double click on your pen tool, go to inches and go to a quarter of an inch and make that line a quarter of an inch thick. Wow, the cat's so big, it, or maybe I didn't do it. No, it's still a hairline. I must not have hit okay. So go to a quarter of an inch. There we go, and hit okay. Now, take that and uh, go to object, convert the outline to an object. Left click, right click, and now you have two hairlines that will cut out that cat. It's all one piece. And I've, I've still got a few nodes I would clean up first anyway. Or, so you could do that, and that's a pretty good way to do it. Or when you have this hairline, 
you can always contour it, go up to effects and contour. And we're going to contour to the outside 0.25 with rounded corners and hit apply. And you get the same thing. Then you go to object, break contour apart, make sure both these are hairlines. I'm working with file and it's CMYK. It really needs to be uh, RGB if you're going to be a laser engraver. I don't think on cutting it really matters too much. But now you've got a, a cutout of a cat and you've got two separate hairlines. So one will cut it out, one will cut out the outside. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.